Hey everybody, it's episode 24 of the Metal Gear Solid playthrough and I'm trying a different recording measure because I have not been liking how these mics have been coming out. I don't necessarily think it's anything to do with the snowball that I'm using. I think it, I don't know what it is, but I'm watching live with volume down and recording with Audacity, which is a way... Better musical interface, I'm sure, than Windows Movie Maker has for recording and, like, pitching up vocal and everything because it needs to go up because these have a high back volume for some reason. Anyway. These two finally are going man-to-man, mono-a-mono. I love these games for this kind of backstory moment. Like, like it's fucking well written. Give it up for Kojima, you know? Chaos and honor. Yeah, he's basically preaching a lot of Big Boss's philosophy right now. They need people to fight that those wars. It's an excellent question. Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You oh shit. That's what, what? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? And backstory. Well, he's right, you know, like they're... Les enfants they were made for war, so it's hardly a surprise when fucking liquid goes rogue. Like, what do they think would happen? Alright, so going off what we've learned from Metal Gear Solid 5, so brief spoilers, but we're going to tackle that game way down the road, so. Eli was in Africa. Met him with Skullface's XOF forces. So. Yeah, he just kind of got off his leash. I guess then they recruited him back into Foxhound at some point. Six of our brothers are sacrificed. Wow. It doesn't make you an accomplice in murder, though. That's just genetic breathing procedure. It doesn't... Don't put that blame on Solid Snake there, Liquid. So I'm not using the Filmora Wonder Share. I'm doing... Like I said, I'm watching through, and I'm just doing a recording while watching, and then I'm going to splice it together. It's an extra step, but it's going to make it better, I think. You took everything from me before. Oh, you fucking drama queen. But the funniest... I mean, well, not to give it away, because Ocelot says it later, but the funniest part is he's wrong. If I understand correctly, apparently Liquid is the one with all the dominant genes. I love this because it's referenced again in Metal Gear 2, the Human Genome Project. Like it, 
I don't know. It's really well written, and there's cohesive storytelling, and I don't know. I can watch the clips people put on YouTube that, like, these are game movies, you know? They're fucking long, too. Like, some of them... Hell, Metal Gear Solid 4, which I only just started playing this last year. So I haven't beat it yet. Why are you crawling up, cat? It was like an eight-hour movie. You know, you split it up, and there's, like, chapters, and you can enjoy it, and it's a good fucking story. I have so much going on with this setup, I'm just nervous when she starts crawling around. Because behind the entertainment center, there's as many cords as there always was. But now, on my bookshelf, well, my little gaming shelf, I have my laptop, which has an Ethernet wire running to it. And the HDMI hookup is right there as well. And next to that is my combo DVD VCR player, which actually hooks up to a small antenna sitting inside my window to get free cable. No, I already pay for basic cable. It's just some... I get like the Western Channel and shit, so... By the way, when I first played it... Now, I played this game after I played, uh... After I started Metal Gear 2. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, I should say. Because not the Metal Gear 2. But seeing, like, PlayStation... With like real camera shit in it this blew my mind I got her a giant ball with a bell in it she seems to enjoy it you hear my cat jing don't be a fool they're a complete failure we are on the verge of extinction what before I was just holding the mic so can I keep in the mic in a steady place Talking, leaning into my chair. It's sitting on top of my printer, which is sitting on top of a side table next to this entertainment table. I'm kind of hoping to buy a, a kitchen table again soon. When I broke up with my ex, she took the mice one we had, and I threw out the old one. I just need a place to put mail and shit, you know? Sorry, I'm talking over liquids. Whole justification for shit. But he is... He is a pure geneticist dream. The way he thinks. Mm. Lean back. The only problem with leaning forward... On my uh, recliner here, is it's less comfortable than leaning back like this. He's gonna go beyond one step beyond. This is Super Saiyan three. Well, I can dig what he's saying about the curse of his heritage and shit. That's a big. Like, anime game trope, like, break your family's, you know, curse or whatever. Alright. So, here's our sh Meryl, here's our showdown. Great acting. Why do you keep knocking over out there? You'd think there's a fucking trash pile in my kitchen the way she keeps bumping into shit. There's a litter thing, a pizza box. And my trash that needs taken out. Nothing crazy. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the, what is the Pentagon trying to do? Answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active. See, this is where when I when I first read about this game, 
through In the Darkness of Shadow Moses, the book that came on the Metal Gear Solid 2 disc by the woman I think we've talked to once this whole playthrough, Nastasha Romanenko. This is when the shit completely hits the fan. Like, Jim Houseman takes over. The whole... Their whole semblance of control is melting away. And it's like... We're fucked. So, it's a nat it's natural conclusion. It was just a real good momentum builder. When I first played this shit. I must have been like 13 years old. I was definitely in middle school. We went to the Chambersburg Mall, which has seen better days. And we ate at the one steakhouse there. That oh, It also had like a salad bar and a place where you get like chicken and all sorts of like a snack. Not a snack bar, but like a dinner bar. I ate there and then I walked up to... I think it was a GameStop at that time. It's either GameStop or Babbage's, which was the store before it. And in the used games, there was a PlayStation 1 copy of Metal Gear Solid for either 8 or $10. And forgive me if I've told this previously. But, uh, Dad got it for me. And here we are. I got Metal Gear Solid 2 from reading old PSM magazine. It inspired me to get it because it looks super cool. And it is. I mean, between this 2 and 3, like which one is my favorite? Is It jumps depending on the last one I played, honestly. But here's Jim Houseman. He looks like a little fucking badass Abe Lincoln over here. Yeah, he's got the whole cover story set out, it looks like. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. You didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't wow. To live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. Farewell. <laughs> we'll see what happens next time, I guess. 